Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. It's Lippy here. I hope you guys stay in place because I have no tripod, but we are here to talk about Candy's situation. Um, uh, I don't want to go too much into detail. I hope you guys can see her. She's right here. Um, but there was a lot of things said and done during the first day or so that was half of the emotional turmoil that me and my sister went through. Um, but we're not going to get into details. We're going to go quickly over the facts of what happened and I'm going to tell you guys how she's doing. So before we get started, I want to thank, thank my sister for being the primary caretaker and being amazing at taking care of Candy. I also want to take my, thank my aunt for helping us as much as she has, uh, with this whole thing that went on. Um, but on February 20th, Candy went to a vent appointment because there were some things that were visible that we were nervous about. And that day my aunt came over and she said, you guys have to take her to the vet. And so we did. And that's when we got the news about something so scary. Um, they said that the things that we were seeing in her nipples were actually tumors. But we weren't going to know more until scans. Um, uh, for the, There was a moment there for about an hour or so that we believed that we were going to have to say goodbye to Candy. Because it looked bad and um, things were said and done. Or just said, not done. Uh, were said that were really heartbreaking. Um, but after the scans and after they realized that there was not just those tumors that they could see but there was more inside in her stomach and her and uh, they wanted to go in and do surgery and so me and my sister took it upon ourselves to take care of the finances for this whole ordeal and for any other that came after and so we are now owners of candy and um it was terrifying that first day and that day of surgery which was the very next day so she went in at 7 30 in the morning on february 21st we picked her up that evening during the scans on the 20th they found that there were not just one or two but that there was five tumors they told us that if surgery went well that she would recover fine and have a good quality of life after surgery and that she had many many years left but if they weren't able to do much and that there was two much damage inside that she had less than 49 percent chance of making it which was scary even we didn't even ask about quality of life if that was the case um we i think we were just scared to ask but surgery happened we got her at 6 p.m on february 21st and for the first two hours it was devastating just hearing her scream i think she was not just in excruciating pain but she was disoriented she was afraid from waking up from anesthesia and it was just really really hard for just to hear her um, like i said my sister was primary caretaker for her for the first week or so um uh and it, it was hard the little that i was there because i was sick for the first couple of days i was just i was out of quarantine and everything but i was still sick um and so i didn't want to get too close to candy but that first night candy did want me she wanted me near um she would stop screaming her head off every time i would talk to her so i tried my best to be close but not too close um and so they told us that first 48 hours were going to be extremely painful for candy so we were as careful as we possibly could i didn't even do my hair sorry guys um and um yeah so the first 48 hours were definitely hard the good thing about it was that candy was drinking water and eating almost right away we got uh, a new new kind of food for candy from the old one she had and um yeah, so by the end of the fifth day after surgery, we took Candy on a walk for the first time. She was in her stroller. She couldn't walk. We, 
or move really without being in pain that first week so she really enjoyed that stroll in her stroller and on the 28th of february she got her drain drainage removed by this time she was aware and it's so funny because that first entire week candy didn't poop and it was very concerning for me and my sister because that was one of the things that we had to keep an eye on i was on our bowel movements and stuff like that and she wasn't pooping but literally the moment they put her down on the vet's table she pooped <laughs> it was funny so that was a relief um and um, the drainage remove was removed and the itchiness began. These cones that they put around their neck are meant to prevent them from getting to their um, surgery area, but Candy found a way to scratch at her stitches, which was with her back legs. <laughs> She's so small and so like uh, bendable, I don't know how to describe it, that she was able to get to her she was able to scratch at them. So we started using these cotton blankets that we bought from Amazon to cover that area. So starting the second week after her drainage was removed is when I really started helping with her. I took care of her several hours a day from that day forward because my sister, you know, she needed time. She was looking for a job. She Before also, I would take care of her. I would go into my sister's room while my sister needed to go take a bath because that first week Candy didn't want to be alone at all. So I would help take care of her, it's just that I wouldn't hold her. But that second week, I was more comfortable holding her. Um, she was on medications, she was on three medications for exactly two weeks. On March 7th, she got her uh, stitches and staples removed. She's healing perfectly fine. And we got the amazing news that they were benign tumors. Um, I forgot to mention that they were able to take out everything during the surgery. So um, they were able to take out the tumors. And she also got a full hysterectomy. I'm pretty sure I said that word wrong. Uh, what I mean by is that she got her entire uh, reproductive system, organs, whatever, removed. And she got a whole chain of nipples removed. Um, so it was a really major surgery that's why she was so much in pain um, um, um she's gonna have a pre post-op appointment in three months um so the tumors were benign and she is fine she's all herself practically she's still not able to fully walk yet she's able to walk but she can't walk i should say because she's still healing in the inside um next tuesday today's thursday she's going to be able to get that comb removed and we're going to be able to get her groomed she's going to get whole uh her, she's going to get shaved because she's really matted around her neck behind her ears and her legs um so she's going to get a whole grooming we found a groomer that my aunt uses so we're really excited and that's it you guys i'm going to show her share some clips i took of candy throughout the two weeks of course, there's nothing about medications or her in pain. We were not comfortable sharing that. We were not even thinking about recording during that time. So, thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys were able to see me. Oh, shoot. And here's candy. And I just dropped my candle. Did it break? No, it didn't. Um, and let me show you guys her blanket. But um, here's her stroller. Here we go. And we use these ones. This is what I mean. I don't know if you guys can see that. This one's a dirty one, so excuse the stains. But um, yeah, that's it, you guys. Thank you. But we I wanted to show you guys Candy's new stroller. Let's turn her to the side. Um she's about to go on her first walk um after her surgery. <clears throat> um it's Sunday and her surgery was this past Tuesday, so it's about to be a week, and she's doing a lot better, huh, Candy? She looks like a mess because she hasn't been able to shower, so there she is. So we're almost to the halfway mark of the second week after her surgery, and the itchy is no joke. So we have to tie these cotton blankets around her middle. <laughs> this is me babysitting. This is like my... I babysitted every day for the past week. Tomorrow's going to be two 
uh, week's post up and uh, she's doing she's practically herself now the last couple of days I think started like going on Thursday that she got extremely itchy um, well actually she started, she started getting itchy the day they took out her drainage which was last Monday but um, when it really got bad I think it was on Thursday so I have to carry her now because she wants to scratch and my sister is out and she's been the primary care taker of candy um, so now I have to hold her like this so she's not scratching or wanting to get off the bed um, she's all normal now it's just the itchiness and the cone still on there and she's gonna need a major major grooming when she is able to get a groom